hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so have you guys ever heard of acrylic press on nails because i haven't which is why i'm so excited for today's video Kara Scott is launching more designs for their Express Pro acrylic press on line and they did let me pick out three designs I wanted so I will be showing you guys that and they also sent me two designs for toes so I cannot wait to try those either. Um, I will not be trying those in today's video but I will try them off camera maybe and then show you guys what they look like but like I said, I have never heard of acrylic press on nails. So with these, you can ditch the plastic. The Express Pro Manicure is the first ever 100% acrylic press on nail system that gives you the perfect salon quality in a fraction of the time. Like stated, these are 100% acrylic. They are strong and durable. They can last up to three weeks depending on how you apply them, which I will get into a little bit later. Each set comes with 30 tips. These nails have a really fast application time and an easy removal. So yeah, here I'm just showing you guys what they look like, the designs I picked out. Um, and these have been on the website before. So also make sure to check out the other designs that was already on the website. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited, y'all. And these here are the one for the toes. And I really like what they did with the toes because a lot of girls like to wear white toes or just a classic French and maybe add some bling to it. So with these two press on toes, like you get like an automatic manicure without having to polish them or like try to do French tips because it can be hard like bending down, like trying to do French tips on your toes can be very difficult. But with these, it makes it super easy. Just go ahead and apply them. So yeah, the ones I picked out, um, I picked out two almonds and a square. I love that square. I feel like that would be really, really cute for the summer or spring. Um, but let's take a look at the packaging. The packaging is super cute, just like all of the other Kara Scott products. I really love it. Um, and over on the back, it tells you in three simple steps how to apply it. Um, and if you want to pause and read, feel free to. But on the back, it does give you the steps to apply them using nail glue, which is what I think the most preferred way is when it comes to press on nails. A lot of people can get nail glue and it's just probably the easiest. Um, and also for the toes as well, you can apply them the same way which in my opinion is super easy um and also inside of the packaging underneath all of the nail tips as you guys can see you do get a little bit of prep things um which i will show in a second i was kind of struggling trying to get this out because i had no idea how this packaging was set in there this is my first time using them but once i got everything out you see that it comes with these sticky tabs here and it says one day wear so like i mentioned you can apply these three different ways which the first way brings me to this one day wear here. Um, and this is for like if you just want to wear them one day. If you want to wear maybe a weekend. I'm not sure because I never use them. Or just like a night you want to wear them for an event or something. This would be the perfect way to apply them to where you don't have to soak them off. Or like you know apply all of the peel off base and everything like that. And this is hands down the most quickest way you can apply these. Um, the second way which you can apply them which will last up to two weeks. Um, is the nail glue and which I think is the most preferred way and the third way you can apply them is with clear acrylic um, and this will be the method to make them last the longest up to three weeks so let's go ahead and jump right into my nails um, and to start off I am just going to be doing the bare minimum nail prep because I did just take a set off prior to this video so I didn't have to do much but of course you want to start by pushing back the cuticles being very gentle this is going to um, push back the eponychium and expose all of the cuticle on the nail plate next I'm going to be taking my beyond pro drill um, and then also there are many mandra drill bits and their sanding bands I love these so much um, I'm going to be using this to go around my cuticle area and also just to remove that shine from my nail plate this step is definitely important when it comes to nail prep. You always want to make sure that you remove the shine from the nail plates, remove all of the excess oils. You want them to be very dehydrated, especially if you want the nails to last. If not, you may have lifting or it just may not last as long as you want it to. Thank you. 
then here's what the nails look like of course you want to go ahead and remove all of that dust so using one of my Kira Sky Lint Free Wipes and some alcohol I'm just going to go over the surface of them and remove all of that dust because we do not want that underneath our application um, but once we do remove it the next step in this application would be to size out all of your nails and this is really similar to gel x um like so far the steps have been the exact same um with the nail prep and picking out the sizes just like when it comes to picking out sizes for gel x nails or any type of press-ons you want to make sure they fit sidewall to sidewall um if you can't find one that fit exactly go with the bigger size and just file it down using a hand file because if you end up going with the smaller one you will have to force that nail down um especially when you add the product underneath for it to like bond with your nail it's just not going to look right it's going to be too small and it might pop off before you even like apply your cuticle oil so definitely always go with the bigger size and file it down um, when it came to my index and ring finger those are like really similar sizes so i was kind of going back and forth seeing which nail fit like best um and i ended up going with a bigger size for my index nail and as you guys see here i'm just filing the sides down just so it doesn't overlap on top of my skin and for the most part these nails do fit um well around my cuticle area I think for my thumb it looked a little bit kind of high up like right at my cuticle but once I add that acrylic underneath it and press it down to my nail it's gonna fill in that gap if that makes sense so for the most part I didn't really have to do too much customization when it came to how they fit just only making one nail a little bit smaller so that it fits my size so after I picked out all of my sizes I'm gonna be doing something that you guys have never really seen me do um, I am going to be keeping these nails on for as long as I can over the weekend um, and I just really wanted to see how these nails hold up um, with it being my first time I just wanted to get like the whole 100 or at least for as long as possible so yeah I will be wearing these nails for as long as I can and then giving you guys some feedback at the end I'm going to be taking their acrylic primer and actually priming my nails like when I tell you guys I was so excited to try these out I actually wanted to prep my nails and do it the right way and not just like apply them for the video and pop them off um, and usually I don't like these short nails like this but these nails were just so easy to use and like I said I've never seen acrylic press on so I was just like really curious to see how they hold up and so I'm going to be taking their acrylic um primer and just adding a thin layer over my nails and i did end up watching a youtube tutorial of the kara sky applying these and that's basically all they did um they applied this primer and didn't really do anything else so that is just what i did once i did apply my thin layer i do allow that to dry while that's drying i am going to be prepping um, and getting my things ready for what i'm going to be using to apply these like I said, I'm going to be doing the method that lasts up to three weeks, which is the EMA monomer and their all-in-one clear powder. And then I'm going to be using their number 10, a Kalinsky brush. Um, and I'm going to be pouring a little bit of monomer into my dish. I don't need a lot because I'm just going to be picking up really, really small beads. And when it comes to the beads, I don't want this to be very runny. So I'm actually going to use some of my monomer enhancer. Since I only have a little bit of monomer in my dish, I'm going to be adding two drops of this um, just so it doesn't like get super hard and dry up super fast on me. But I do want it to set up just a little bit faster than normal. Using these really helped. I'm going to give that a good mix and also just prep my nail brush in the process so we can get into the application. After some time of getting my nail area ready, um, this is how the primer looks. It still has like a glossy finish to it. Um, it kind of has a tacky layer, so be sure not to remove that. You want that tacky layer for them to bond together. Um, also, another prep step that you can go through with. I feel like it's not necessary, but you can also take one of these mini mandrel bits and a sanding band and just kind of etch the inside of that nail. I'm not going to do it just because I feel like, like I said, it's not really necessary, but if you did want to take the extra steps and make sure these nails last for more than three weeks, go ahead and do so. Um, but yeah, now that my primer has dried, I'm going to be starting off by picking up little beads and just like the gel X method, I'm going to be putting that product inside of that nail tip and you will see me throughout the entire process. 
um i'm not gonna be in a rush to apply these so once i pick up the bead i'm gonna like wait a little bit on my brush for it to set up and then once i put it inside the nail tip i'm still not rushing to go ahead and put it on there and then when I do eventually get it on my nail, just like the gel X, you want to start from the cuticle area and just apply pressure towards the tip and make sure that it covers the entire nail. Now with the gel X method, you do just go ahead and flash cure it. But with these, you will have to spend a little bit more time holding it on the nail. Um, just because if the acrylic isn't dry yet and you hit the nail or it just moves, once it eventually dries, it'll dry cricket and you'll have a cricket nail. So I did hold mine for up to like 30 seconds or close to a minute, which I did end up cutting out the video because I obviously couldn't leave all the nails in like that. But I did leave a little bit in so you guys can see how long I was holding it. Um, and just like the entire process of what it takes to apply these. Um, so yeah, I do recommend holding them for at least a minute. And that also depends on how like wet the bead was because if it's super runny, you're gonna need to hold it a little bit longer. But if it dries faster, then you're good to go and you can hold it for less of the time. But since this was my first time using it, I just want it to be on the safe side and I did hold it for a little bit longer than I needed to. But other than that, that's all you need to do to apply these, um, which was super easy. I love these. And now that we covered how to apply them, as you guys finish watching my last two to three nails, um, I think the quality of these are very great. Honestly, like you can definitely tell that these are made of acrylic, like something stronger. They're a lot durable than like press on nails or like the plastic. Like you can definitely feel that within the quality just by holding them. And this is my first time actually trying these. Like I said, Kara Sky has been had these press on nails on their website, but they just launched 10 new designs. So that is why I wanted to come here and do a full in depth video. Because it's my first time and I wanted to give you guys my honest and first impressions of these nails. And let me just tell you, I like them so much. Like, I really, really love them. And they're really convenient, especially if you want that acrylic um, feel to it. Like, you want that acrylic quality, but don't have time to do an entire set applying nail tips and stuff. This is a super easy way to get that acrylic salon quality without having to do a lot of work and keep in mind there is another alternative way you can apply them which is with the nail glue so if you still want that acrylic feel to it without having to apply them with the acrylic the nail glue works just as great and just to really get that feel of like what it takes i did leave my entire application in real time so this is not sped up any this is literally what i was doing at a normal pace And this is basically what the nails look like after just applying them. Um, I didn't really see anything where you need to file around the cuticle area and pretty much my application looks good. So I'm not going to go around my cuticles. I'm just going to leave it as is. And as for my thumb, I did wait to do it for a real um, over on Instagram. So quickly, I just went ahead and did that. Some of you may be wondering how the nails look underneath. So I did just want to give you a quick look at how it looks. Um, personally, I like that it doesn't like have too much acrylic spill underneath to the point where it looks messy, which is why the size of your beads really matter. So if you pick up the right amount of acrylic, you will not have that problem. Um, I think mine's look pretty good. So I'm going to go in with my hand file, like in certain angles while I was doing my reel. I did see like where you can see like the little tips, how when you pop them off. I did see that from certain angles. So just quickly, I went in with my Kara Sky 80, 80 grit hand file and just removed that from the tips of my nails. And it wasn't really noticeable. I was just looking at them from all angles. And then once I finished filing them, I did go ahead and wipe them down with some alcohol. And now I'm going to be applying some top coat to top them off. If you want to go in with some nail art before you add the top coat, feel free to do so. But I'm just going to leave them as is since they already have a nice little pink French. Once I do add my top coat, I'm going to pop them in my light for 30 seconds. And I will be back to show you guys the overall nail set.
I'm going to be topping this off with my rose scented cuticle oil from Kara Scott. This is definitely one of my favorites and I feel like I say it every time I use it at the end of my videos. But once I rub that in, this is how the finished nails look. And I love these so much. Like, I wouldn't go this crazy over short nails like this. But these felt so phenomenal. Like, I just, I don't know what it was. I think it was just me applying them with acrylic, them being like 100% acrylic pressed on nails. Like, I don't know why, but that is just so mind blowing to me. And I just really, really love them a lot. Definitely recommend if you guys want a quick acrylic nail set, but don't want to do all of the acrylic stuff. If you don't like the smell, these are definitely something you should invest in. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than I really like them a lot. Um, and also, I do have a discount code that you guys can use on the Kara Sky website. It will save you 10% off your entire order. So make sure that you click the link down below in my description box. Um, and yeah, that pretty much wraps up the first half of my video. So the way everything ended up playing out, um, I had this ready like a week ago or whenever this goes up, I'm not sure. But I had this video already ready. But Kara Sky did postpone the launch of the 10 new designs. So I did have time to like wear them a little bit which plays into the second half of my video and I will be talking like while I'm recording it because I feel like I wouldn't have enough time for voiceovers so I'll just go ahead and let that part play out okay so here we have the nails in the first part of the video you guys saw me apply them um and I did say I would keep them on for as long as I can to just see how they work since it was my first time trying these nails um and tomorrow would make one week and this is how they are looking um, you can see a little bit of like this part kind of not really fitting right. I don't know if it's starting to lift a little bit, but that could be a problem that I did because it kind of looks like it's overlapping just a little bit, but not really. But this is how they look. Like I said, one more day would be an entire week and this is how they held up. Um, I actually like these nails a lot and I wish I can keep them on a lot longer, but of course I got to get back to my content. So I will be removing them with you guys. Um, and it also played out really, really well because the launch for these nails got pushed back. So I was able to wear them over the weekend. And since I did prep these and like test them out to see how they would hold up, I just felt like it would be really great to remove them with you guys. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the last part of this video. And I'm actually pretty sad that I have to cut these down in order to remove them. Because like you guys saw, I did prep them. I mean, I'm kind of curious if I could just lift them up. Just to see if they would like pop off. And they are actually pretty glued on. So I will actually have to remove them. So yeah, these are definitely stuck on my nails. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start by removing them. I mean, also on the package of these, it do say like these are easy removal. So I also wanted to test that out with you guys. So you get like the full effect of how these nails apply, last, and remove. So I did just go ahead and cut them down. Excuse the background noise, but I have to go ahead and get this done. <laughs> so... I'm going to be using my Beyond Pro Kara Sky Drill and also their 5-in-1 tapered bit to file these down and also the free edge a little bit. And so this is how they look once I finish filing them. Um, I did use my Kara Sky Beyond Pro Dust Collector. 
and i know this is not a review for this but i don't really like this as much as i thought i would for one it's super thick so like it hurts my wrist trying to like stay on top it's definitely not my favorite which is why i don't use it as much every time you guys see me filing i'm always using my melody Susie one so yeah but that's just me and my opinions on it um but yeah this is how the nails look once i finish filing them down as thin as i could get them and i was able to file down to that acrylic that clear acrylic layer that we did apply them to so um that's pretty good so once we start to soak them off it doesn't take as long and so to remove these i will be using their nail remover coils as you guys know they did launch these a few months back and I don't really use them as often because I never really have to soak my nails off. But I will be using them today to demonstrate and just show you guys um, the soak off process. And then of course also I will be using their 100% acetone to um, remove it. And basically you just want to go ahead and drench the little cotton pad that's on there. And just apply it to the nail. That's basically all you have to do. And make sure that it's sealed tight so that all of that warmth can stay in there with it. And then I'm just going to continue until I do all of my nails. And now that we have all of them applied, I am going to be timing it so you guys can see for yourself. Um, I'm not really sure the correct time to put on it, but I'm just going to give it 10 minutes and I'll go ahead and start it now. And just let you guys watch how long it takes. So I'm going to stop it right now because I do want to see how far we can get with just 10 minutes. Okay, so all of that is coming up like, wow. Okay, so yeah, it did basically remove everything that I had left on my nail. And you can go over it with a sanding band just to remove like all of the harder pieces because it does start to dry up once you remove the foil a little bit. But if you remove your nails off, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But for the most part, they did um come up very easily with just 10 minutes so if you don't use a peel off base and you have to soak your nails off pretty often these foils in the kira sky acetone is a must-have because look how easy this is to come up and if when you soak your nails off and they don't flake up like this you definitely need to invest in more and better monomer because if it becomes like really gunky then you are using the cheap um mma monomer which is what a lot of nail salons use and it's not safe because it can like damage your nails and possibly eat away at your skin if you put it on the skin but always make sure to do your own research first i just know like from hearing stories from nail techs and stuff like that that's just what i heard but always make sure that you do your own research So I am having some technical difficulties. As you guys can see, my lights did go off. 
Um, I think the rain kind of messed up like my outlet outside to my nail shed. So I'll have to like get somebody to look at it because I don't know about all of like the electrical stuff. So as you guys see on my thumb, um, it didn't really come off how I wanted it to. So I am going to get another one and just leave it on for about five more minutes. And I'm just going to quickly do it because since my lights are off, I don't want to like have to film without any lights. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this very quickly. But for the most part, you guys can see these nail foil removals and the acetone works pretty good for soaking off acrylic. And then I'm going to go ahead and start my time again so we can get another five minutes. And so now I am going to finish this off with using my mini mandrel bit and a sanding band just to go over my nail beds. I need that on the lowest speed. And I do apologize about the lighting, y'all. Like, this was so unexpected, but hopefully for my next video, I'll have it done because I already planned out my week and I don't want to get sidetracked or have to postpone everything because I still want to do some stuff for Valentine's Day and the day of me recording this. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so hopefully I have time to do it. But even if I, like, go past Valentine's Day, I still won't, like, limit myself to not do Valentine's Day nails or the things that I had originally planned. Then also using some of my Kara Sky lint-free wipes, I'm going to go ahead and remove all of that dust from my nails and then apply some cuticle oil. Okay, I don't know if that made it better or worse, but I did try to get some sunlight because the sun is just coming up. We're going to go ahead and top this removal off with some cuticle oil. You don't have to just apply cuticle oil when you're done with a nail set. You can apply it basically anytime you want. And it's just nice to oil your cuticles um, every day or just every other day so that you have a healthy nail growth and i may add a little bit too much but basically this is how the removal went um which was pretty easy and simple i really love these acrylic press on nails so throughout this video i did show you guys how they look five of the brand new designs of their x pro press line i showed you guys the nail prep the application which was super easy um how they lasted for six days and also the removal so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know your thoughts and opinions if you plan to try some of these press on nails so yeah that basically concludes today's video let me know what you thought and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye